Hi guys, it is a beautiful fall day. A little on the chilly side, it's October 16th today and we have our first frost coming tonight. I can't believe uh, we've made it this long without our first frost. We live in a zone three. Normally by the end of Oct or normally by the end of August or early October, we've had our first frost and we're in October now. Um, so Jazzy's gonna be helping me. I'm two weeks away from my baby's due date, so it's getting hard for me to bend down and do stuff. But we are just going to finish harvesting. I don't have a whole lot left in this garden area, um, but I have some green onions, some lettuce that I wanna harvest. I have two massive zucchini. So normally I like to pick zucchini when they're little for cooking and sauteing, but I have an awesome recipe of zucchini crisps. So I let two zucchini purposely get extra large so I can use it in that. And then Jazz is just gonna help me rip everything out and um, almost everything. I'm gonna leave my potatoes and carrots and I have a pepper plant. You can see, there's Jazzy. Pepper plant right there. We did cover it up yesterday just in case it frosted last night. Um, so I'm gonna leave the pepper plant because I have peppers that are so close to being ready. So we're just gonna leave that and cover that up and then I'm gonna leave the broccoli as well. But everything else is getting ripped up today. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, I think we've harvested everything that's left. And we're just gonna start ripping stuff out. Let's see, I got lettuce, green onions, and a few beans left, and two big zucchini that I will make zucchini crisp out of, and the rest can go. Okay guys, so we're almost done, and just look how empty it is now. I mean, it just looks just so much more empty than what it was. So we're just gonna dump the last few buckets, um, and then I think we're done. Okay you guys, it is several hours later. The sun is just beginning to set. Um, and I wanted to run out and show you how I'm gonna cover 
the plants for the frost. Now I checked the weather again and the weather changed. It's no longer supposed to get a frost, but it is supposed to get down to 34 degrees. So I thought I would cover stuff just in case it decided to drop a couple degrees lower. Um, you can invest in some frost cloths, but all I'd use is old blankets and sheets and that works just fine for me. Stuff I have on hand, um, nothing fancy, but it just protects it from that layer of frost. So um, I'll just show you what I do. Oh, also, if you have anything like peppers or anything, I put a, it's kind of hard, it's getting dark, so it's hard to see, but there is a tomato cage around that pepper and I'm just gonna take those sheets and put it over the tomato cage um, just to kind of protect it a little bit, so. Let's go. Okay, that is it. I just covered my pepper. I have some broccoli plants there and then some broccoli plants there. Now you have to look at the weather and judge. Sometimes it's not always worth it to cover with the frost cloth or a sheet, um, especially at the end of the year when the garden's pretty much over, but I planted the garden very late. July 3rd was when I got the garden in and the pepper and the broccoli I got in even later. And there's stuff forming and it just needs another couple weeks and it is supposed to just have a couple, two or three nights in the frost and then it's supposed to warm back up into the mid 70s again. So I was like, you know what, in this case, it's worth it just to cover those things and the things that it wasn't worth it was the stuff that I ripped out earlier today. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for taking along and um, the garden's looking so empty. Like it's just leaves and next year I have to say, well one, I won't be pregnant so it'll be much easier to upkeep with weeding and then two I think I want to do a layer of landscape fabric around the outside perimeter just to keep the weeds from creeping in from the outside I think that would really help a lot so that's what I'm planning so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye